Why is the mayor of Scottsdale sitting with a 911 operator? We'll show you. More and more people are becoming victims of hit and run drivers. This family's story could change the way you drive. 12 News Tonight starts now. You're watching 12 News, Arizona's news station, with Kent Dana, Janine Bohr, Bean McLaughlin, and Mark Curtis. For almost 30 years, a Valley teacher taught kids the fundamentals of sports and fitness. Now he's behind bars with taking advantage of that position, molesting three students. This is 53-year-old James Champlain. Champlain. He was taken into custody during a trip he made all the time, taking a group of young boys to the movies. Tonight we have new information about this story. Blair Meeks talked with one of his students that went on one of those trips and the mother who's been worrying ever since. <laughs> It started on the playground, where one little boy tended to excel in athletics. He got extra attention from the P.E. teacher, attention that started by going out to eat, but then led to movies and gifts. He'd buy shoes and, and sports equipment, trading cards, bas basketball, uh, Game Boy and a Game Boy cartridges. We're calling him John to protect his identity because for nine months, he was one of several boys James Champlin took a special interest in. John says Champlin never molested him, but he's not surprised at the news. Because I saw him touching other kids in their legs in places that probably he, he was like moving his hand by on their legs. For John's mother, Champlin was the good father figure influence the boy needed. Keep him interested in schoolwork and athletics. And the expensive shoes and toys were things she couldn't always afford. You send them to school thinking they're going to be safe. It's like sending them to church and thinking they're going to be safe and something happens or their relatives you don't know anymore, and it's real scary. Who do you trust? Who don't you trust anymore? He seemed like such a nice guy. Now, an arrest and a letter from school puts every act of kindness in question. Champlin is charged with three counts of molestation and one count of sexual conduct with a minor. And a letter to parents, administrators with the school system are looking for any other children who may have been involved. And Blair, Champlin has a bit of a history with this type of thing. How did he slip through school cracks? Well, police say a similar type of crime was reported to them involving Champlin back in 1990. But the crime was actually the victim reporting a crime from 1976. And 14 years is a long time to still find witnesses and evidence, so no charges. And that means no way that school administrators could find anything when they did their search. Okay, Blair, thank you. Police are searching for the driver of a car that put a woman in the hospital. As we first told you last night, 27-year-old Melinda Michka was driving her moped near 16th Street in Thomas when a car slammed into her. The driver got out of the car, pulled Melinda's moped out from under the car, then took off. Michka is in serious condition tonight. Police are looking for a man probably in his 50s. He was wearing a white cowboy hat, a multicolored long sleeve shirt, and was driving a white or off-white 1973 Chevy Malibu. Police think a younger man was also riding in the car. An alarming number of people become victims of hit-and-run accidents every day in Arizona. The Department of Transportation doesn't have numbers from this year yet, but last year they recorded almost 114,000 accidents on Arizona roads, and about 12,000 of them were hit and run. That's about 10 percent. Twenty-four people died because of those hit and runs. Police say a majority of hit and run accidents involve alcohol. As Mary Kim Titla tells us, those accidents forever change the lives of everyone involved. The Nunez family is trying to put their lives back together. They're trying to laugh again. But someone's laughter is missing. 13-year-old Andrea Nunez died last week while riding her bike. And, uh, you know, you always hear, you know, you always see it on the news, on TV. And uh, you feel remorse, but you don't ever think that, uh, you know, it's going to happen to you. And it wasn't made to be this way. You weren't made to live longer than your children. This is where the accident happened. Andrea and her dad were riding their bikes when two cars came speeding by. The impact was so great, Andrea's body landed some 75 feet away. I saw uh, Andrea airborne. And her bike landed here, another 100 feet away. When I got to her, she was, you know, she was already gone. Both cars left the scene of the accident, and now the Nunez family is left with pictures of Andrea. According to police, hit-and-run accidents are difficult to solve because no one wants to accept responsibility, and more people think they can get away with it. Police now have a man in custody for Andrea's death, 
Paul Nunez says the man may have been drunk the day of the accident. I think the message is pretty clear. Uh, uh, you know, if you're out there drinking, accept the consequences for, for whatever happens out there. Uh. Andrea Nunez wanted to be a lawyer. Now it's up to the lawyers to make sure justice is served. Mary Kim Titla, 12 News, Arizona's news station. William Green Sr. now put faces manslaughter charges for the hit and run. Police are still looking for the second car, a white pickup truck that may have been involved, and two or three Hispanic men who were with the, were with the man. Anyone with information can call the Fort McDowell Tribal Police. The next time you go to the airport, you may not recognize your way home. Tonight, the new Sky Harbor Expressway opens. It's basically a new way to leave the airport to the east. Instead of using Highway 143, now you have to take Highway 153. It will take you to University to the south and Washington to the north, and the idea is to reduce traffic on the Hohokam. If you are a political junkie, this is a week for you. Both Bob Dole and Bill Clinton are coming to our state. Tomorrow, Republican candidate Dole will arrive at Sky Harbor at 10.30 in the morning. If you want to go, gates will open up at 9.30. Then at noon, Mr. Dole will visit Sheriff Arpaio's tent city. His stay in the valley will not be long. Dole is scheduled to take off at 20 minutes to 3. And for the second time in a week, President Clinton is coming to Arizona. On Wednesday, he will be at the Grand Canyon. He was in Sun City and Phoenix last uh, Wednesday. Now an update from the Middle East. Kuwait has agreed to allow additional American troops onto its soil. 3,000 troops from Texas will be deployed there this week. President Clinton said today that the U.S. is trying to limit Saddam Hussein's ability to threaten his neighbors not to pick a fight with him. And should the Pentagon share part of the blame for this terrorist bombing in Saudi Arabia? or the terrorist bombing. A retired army general says yes. The former commander of the special forces says the Pentagon did not provide guidelines for protecting U.S. forces overseas. And now Defense Secretary William Perry may seek to court-martial some U.S. Air Force personnel involved in the bombing. And you may recall last June, 19 U.S. airmen died in the terrorist bombing in Saudi Arabia. O.J. Simpson is going back to court on Wednesday, but you won't be able to see the trial on TV. The judge has barred all media except newspaper reporters from the courtroom. Today, the judge told Kent Simpson that he would have to share proof of a frame-up with the other side in the civil case. He's being sued for wrongful death by the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. And the family of rapper Tupac Shakur has had his remains cremated. A Las Vegas funeral home says a private service was held Saturday, the day after Shakur died. The rapper was shot September the 7th in an ambush on the Vegas Strip. There have been no arrests in this murder. Mother Teresa is back in the hospital tonight. The 86-year-old Nobel Peace Prize winner fell from her bed and has a bruise near her eye. Now, doctors do not consider the injuries to be serious. She had just been released from the hospital 10 days ago for heart problems and malaria. The mayor of Scottsdale says her habits are changing. Today, Sam Campana talked about her highly publicized run-in with her city's 911 center. And she sat side by side with dispatchers to better understand their department. Campana says she will no longer call the emergency number to ask for directions. Records indicate that she had done just that on several occasions. I've done this before. I've been out here before. It's been several years when I was on the city council. But um, this is a refresher course, and don't call 911. I'm the poster girl. Campana says she received a letter from the police chief six weeks ago. Since that time, she has refrained from calling the emergency number for non-emergencies. She's also placed several laminated maps in her car. And coming up next on 12 News Tonight, an exclusive I Team 12 report. Bronson Rohde died after playing on a swing set. Was it an accident or murder? We'll show you the new twist in this mystery. And no fair weather fans at Blockbuster Desert Sky tonight. Hootie and the Blowfish are in town. Coming up in just a couple of minutes in sports, another milestone in baseball tonight, plus Monday night football, Steelers and the Bills, and a little more Cardinal talk. It's all coming up in just a few minutes. Hey, folks, the monsoon is over, and we're enjoying some fair weather, Johnson. I'm Steve McLaughlin, live out of Blockbuster Desert Sky Pavilion. We're going to show you Hootie and the Blowfish coming up in just a few minutes. First forecast time, how about that high tomorrow? 89 degrees, a little windy. We'll talk about it coming up live.
You walk into Saturn, everybody's cool. Buying the car was not the number one priority with the people in the dealership. They sit you down and they call you by your first name. You don't have to haggle. The price was there and you knew what to pay. No secrets. You didn't want to pay it, you didn't have to buy it. It was great. Way different. Absolutely. <laughs> the guy was so nice and he wasn't phony nice. They weren't smarmy and condescending. Buying a car is fun when you go to Saturn. I can't remember the fellow's name. I think his name was Larry. I knew him either in another life or maybe he was a neighbor. Let me know if you have any questions. In eight days, it begins. A new world of younger-looking skin with Lancome's visibly revitalizing solution, Primordial. Pure vitamin E, a gentle hydroxy acid, and a patented nanocapsule technology now make it possible. Younger-looking skin than you ever thought possible. Primordial, the new world of skin care, Lancome Paris. Your gift, your choice of color with any 1750 Lancome purchase. Now at Dillard's. You can spend an age going from place to place, looking for somewhere special to call your own. You can waste an era shuffling through one unfamiliar neighborhood after another. Or you can share your dreams with Remax. Across the continent, Remax Associates average more sales per agent. So when it comes to finding the right homes, our satisfied clients and customers are legion. Thanks to Remax, my Roman days are over. Looking for something new? Are you ready for something different? Then watch 12 News First at 4. Hi, I'm Dee Riley. And I'm Richard Brule, inviting you to watch the news that's happening now and important to you. Like consumer and health reports and stories that make a difference. 12 News First at 4. A tagger gets tagged with a serious sentence. This man, Joshua Boley, was sentenced today to six months in jail with three years probation. He'll also need to do 500 hours of community service. Police were able to identify Boley because he always left a trademark insignia along with his graffiti. It's been called a murder, but the county attorney's office says it won't file any charges in the death of a Mesa boy. Prosecutors have investigated the case for more than a year. You might remember this little boy. Two-year-old Bronson Rohde died while in the care of his babysitter. She says it was an accident. The medical examiner's office says it was murder. Now the county attorney's office says it can't prove either. Rebecca Lopez has this exclusive I-Team report. Bronson Rohde would have been three years old this month, but he died at his babysitter's home in Mesa just shy of his second birthday. His babysitter says he died after being hit with a swing and that it was an accident. But the medical examiner's office says Bronson was murdered, that he died of suffocation. I was always critical of the medical examiner's report. I thought that there were some things that the medical examiner did that raised some serious questions in my mind. For a year, the county attorney's office has been trying to decide if it would file charges against the babysitter, Casey Coda. They've decided they won't. They looked and turned every turn, every stone and looked, uh, and uh, based upon their evidence, it was, in my, my understanding, unanimously agreed by a staff of attorneys in the county attorney's office that there simply was no criminal act. But Bronson's parents aren't giving up. They have filed a civil lawsuit against Casey Coda and her husband. In documents we got, Bronson's parents say that Coda acted with malice, intent, and reckless disregard for the safety of Bronson Rohde. As to the words that you've read, the reckless or wanton or so forth, they're simply not true. Uh, she did not do anything to willfully harm that child and is incapable of doing that. But Bronson's family says they have suffered. They say they've been deprived of love, affection, and companionship and support of Bronson Rohde. They want a civil jury to decide if their child was murdered. Coda's attorney says his client is innocent. Rebecca Lopez, 12 News, Arizona's news station. A source tells 12 News that the reason the case isn't going to a criminal court is because the county attorney's office can't prove that no one else had access to Bronson. They say prosecutors can't win this case. Well, you could not ask for a better day outside. Gorgeous out it's been there. gorgeous. And seeing you are so lucky to be out there with, what a great band, Hootie and the Blowfish. Oh, yeah. In fact, a uh, near-capacity crowd out here at Blockbuster Desert Sky. You can hear the, uh, the boys in the background. They're still singing away, and this place is packed. A lot of people coming up to me talking about this weather. What a great day we had today. Let's take a look at the Almanac page. 89 degrees with an overnight low of 71. Yes, the monsoon is over, and we'll talk about this week's forecast Coming up next here on 12 News. The weather is so nice here now that people are coming here for vacation. But if you are looking to get away, we have some fall getaways for you. And that's coming up on Arizona's news station. Later on
on the Tonight Show, Jay's got Bette Midler. And what happens when Frazier's David Hyde Pierce gets an itch? Oh, look at what, look what's happening now. Look. Then, how to improve voter turnout. 23% said declare voting booths a Macarena-free zone. Plus, a trip backstage with Jay's writing staff and a really bad night at the movies. Yeah. Then Conan's got Kevin Nealon, NBC Tonight. The award, 1996 4x4 four four of the year. But you don't get it unless you earn it. And once again, Jeep Grand Cherokee did. But with all of Grand Cherokee's major new improvements, was it really any surprise? Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now get up to $1,150 in option values. This is your year for the award-winning 4x4 of the year. With life being such a handful, isn't it nice to be home? Where you can be with family and friends. And everyone pretty much loves you just the way you are. Continental builds those homes in neighborhoods all over the valley. Where people can be comfortable and just be themselves. Continental. Welcome home. When I first came to the Heart Institute, it was for preventative maintenance as far as I was concerned. Years later, when I did have a problem, when I did receive a wake-up call as far as having a heart problem, I knew exactly where I was going, back to the Heart Institute, because I knew they had all the tests under one roof, and they, they could do them all in one day and uh, treat the problem non-invasively and uh, get me back uh, to being a healthy person again. The Arizona Heart Institute. In 1993, you could drive a new Mercury Grand Marquis for under $20,000. Since then, we've made it more distinctive, more luxurious, more durable, even safer. But there's one thing we left well enough alone, the price. For a limited time, drive the legendary V8-powered Mercury Grand Marquis for a value-packed price under $20,000. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. Well, seen is no fair weather forecaster. He's got it right every single time. Hey, we're just glad that the monsoon's over. You remember, folks, we had 76 days of this year's monsoon. That's about 20 days, uh, you know, more than normal. Uh, but we're also below normal for rainfall. In fact, almost uh, over an inch, 0.19. Trying to listen to the music, actually, behind me, because Hootie and the Blowfish are still playing. And you're right, no fair weather fans out here. Let's take a look at the forecast for tonight, as we show you, look at on the mass cam, we're going to show you the West Concourse. People still in their seats. Nobody's moving from this concert. Fairweather, because that's the name of their album, Fairweather Johnson, with an overnight low of 71 degrees. A few clouds out here and a nice breeze. How's tomorrow? Breezy. We're going to bring up the winds out of the southwest, but beautiful. We're going to go with a high of 89. That's what we had today, so we're a little optimistic with that 89. Here's why. Take a look at that trough system pushing through just to the north of us, in through Nevada and Utah. In fact, folks, Utah, the upper mountains have a snow advisory for tonight. You can see that northern Arizona is going to start to cloud up and drop the temperatures. Let's go ahead and look at some of the temperatures currently at this hour with the passage of this cold front. It's right up near northwestern Arizona. So the high country starting to dip down now up near Page. They're down in the mid to upper 40s. Flagstaff, beautiful at 51, 75 in Tucson and 84 over there in Blythe 80 in Yuma. Let's take a look at the highs for today. Look at that. Lake Havasu City, 95 degrees with the nation's hot spot. 74 in Sedona, 59 in Flagstaff, 75 in Payson. And again, 89 here in the Valley, 91 in Buckeye. Let's take a look at the forecast lows for this evening with a nice breeze outside. You can open up the windows, turn off that air conditioner. We'll have 71, 47 in Prescott, 55 in Kingman, and about 63 in Coolidge, 64 in Tucson. Pick out your favorite city. Holy cow, look at all those yellows, 76 up in Fargo, 62 in International Falls, 72 in Omaha, 83 in Dallas-Fort Worth, 90 down in the Big Easy, and 66 in Washington, D.C. And a quick check on the uh, big map. Let's show you that, boy, lots of moisture left over from Hurricane Fosto. That's really slamming into the eastern seaboard. We'll talk about that tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the current conditions outside right now. 82 degrees downtown, 80 winds of the west at 10. Still dry out there with a rising barometer, 29.80. That breeze 
Makes it feel dry, even though the dew point's at 59. Showers possible in the high country, cloudy along the rim, and partly cloudy down here in the cent south central deserts. And it will be cool, 89 tomorrow. And then look at warm up. Look at it warm up by the weekend on Friday and Saturday. Temperatures in the upper 90s. So Hootie and the Blowfish still playing. They went on stage at around 9:15. So we'll bring you some more highlights at the end of the show. Okay, oh, looking forward fun. to that. Thanks, Dean. Well, just because summer's over doesn't mean vacations have to stop. Still ahead, we'll take a look at some fall vacation ideas that might be a cool idea. A new day. What's on your to-do list? Isn't it time you had a for you list? Get a Jimmy by GMC. It helps you do the things you have to do. And now, with the $1,500 you'll save in your Jimmy SLT, you'll have a little something extra to do some things for you. Like, pick up some sticks, polish the new silver, or just get out of town. See your GMC dealer today. Cellular One offers remarkably clear service. Our father couldn't be here, so he's listening over the phone. In fact, clarity could be why more people choose Cellular One. She sounds great, honey. Cellular One, the nation's number one cellular service. Now through September 30th, Cellular One offers you Motorola's new contour phone in five great colors for just $9.99. Plus, you get free activation and free local weekend calling through October 31st. Call toll-free 888-GO-CELL-1. Simplicity is hardly a new idea. But it's never been easier to streamline your life with so much style. Because at Target, we think that real style comes from what you wear, not what you spend. Now there's an idea that'll stand the test of time. Buyer beware. Some things aren't always what they appear to be. But not with Toyota's new certified used vehicles, where select previously driven vehicles are put through a comprehensive 128-point inspection, then back with a six-year, 100,000-mile warranty and 24-hour roadside assistance. So with Toyota's certified used vehicles, what you see is really what you get. A great car. Toyota certified used vehicles. The best new cars make the best used cars. These little ones at Children's World Learning Center in Tempe had a big surprise today. When they looked into a book, they found their own names. It's part of the Learn to Read program. Preschoolers are given a personalized book to spur their interest. Max Work Computer Services and other businesses sponsor to the program to get kids interested in reading at an early age. It's neat they even find names of their family members in the books. That's a great idea. Yeah. Well, it looks like there won't be a lot of people traveling this fall. A travel industry group says that only about 60% of potential travelers are going to hit the road. Rick DeBruel says that could be good news if you're looking for a fall travel deal. When it comes to fall travel deals, now's the time to blow that whistle and get aboard. It's a slow time for everybody. People are not traveling with their children. It's more of the older people, singles, that are traveling now to stay away from the summer rush. And let me tell you, if it's a cruise you're after, there are deals in just about every ocean. We can do a 14-day Panama Canal cruise for $1,500 now. Um, other times of the year, it will run between $21 and $2,200 per person. And if you're looking for something small... The short cruises, three- and four-day party cruises off the West Coast, you can do for between $225 and $250 a person. Cruise only. And when it comes to flying, the next few months are great. Really low ticket prices. You can go to Germany round trip for $458. You can go to Boston for $160. When it comes to horses on the merry-go-round, all of them are pretty much the same. But when it comes to hotels offering fall deals, well, they are not all created equal. In the fall, you're going to usually get your best hotel deals at the larger chains. Because they are larger, they can afford to discount the rates more than the small chains. Now, fall travel can be a bumpy ride. It can have real ups and downs. Like, say you want to take a cruise during hurricane season, or there's other problems as well. If you're going to go to the Northeast, you're going to encounter rain, and after Halloween, usually snow. If you're going to go to Europe, you're going to have a lot of fog, a lot of rain, colder weather. If you go to the Northwest, it's going to rain every day. Of course, when you think about it, maybe the best fall travel deal is not to go anywhere, to stay here in Phoenix and enjoy what is really the best weather in the country. Richard Rule, 12 News, Arizona's news station. I just love blowing that thing. <laughs> Thanks, Rick.
<laughs> so where won't you get a good deal? Travel agents say places like Australia and Las Vegas are getting into their busy seasons. He gets all the good assignments. <laughs> yeah. Hey, speaking of assignments, you had the... Uh, the joy of riding back with the car. Oh, hey. They were playing yesterday. Hey, that was a fun flight. Did you oh, want to go down the baggage yeah, and we, stay we, there? Yeah, we watched Twister a couple of hundred times on the plane ride. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Coming up next in sports, the new man on the Cardinal roster has some inspiring words for his teammates. Plus, Paul Molitor going for the milestone. We'll take you to Kansas City as he goes for hit number 3,000. Next in sports. 12 News is closed captioned. Arizona News Station. Buick announces America's best closeout. Start with Riviera, Buick's personal luxury masterpiece. Sleek, powerful, take 2,000 cash off. Park Avenue, America's best overall car value. The luxury is yours with 1,000 cash off. America's best closeout, up to 2,000 cash off after dealer discounts after your best deal. Get into your Arizona Buick dealer. Wouldn't you really rather have a Buick? Sad, isn't it? Finding out you paid too much for your stereo. Circuit City, you can't find a lower price. We guarantee it. We're a young family and just starting out, and we need every bit of help we can get. The time has been the biggest factor with having a new baby and stuff. A Walmart saves me both time and money. We're able to save quite a bit, and it puts a couple more dollars in our pocket to do other things. Wouldn't you say we're able to save? Yeah, Walmart makes it real easy to save money. And just keeping him in diapers costs a fortune. <laughs> I'm the better shopper. I'm no, the cheapest, <laughs> I'm the better shopper. Well, he's cheap. <laughs> I want to get us a little dinner. How's the uh, Mexican sound? Great. For the price of an ordinary sedan, Kia now offers Sportage. With 4x4 prowess that's been proven by winning a class in the Baja 1000, it turns the most mundane task into an adventure. Sportage from Kia. Finally, the adventure of a 4x4 for the price of an ordinary sedan. What? The year of the milestone continued in baseball tonight. Twins in the Royals in Kansas City and a night that Paul Molitor will never forget. Started the night with 2,298 hits. Top of the first, Molly, who almost walked away from the game a year ago, connects for number 2,999, so he's one away. Top of the fourth, Molly, could it be? No. Pops it up. But then with one out in the fifth inning, his former teammate Robin Young on hand watching from up top as Molitor steps into the history books. To right center field. Myers and Nunley chase it. Myers, the ball drops. Molitor has his 3,000th hit. Couldn't happen to a better guy. Molitor becoming the 21st player to collect 3,000 hits. Ironically, it came exactly three years ago to the day that Dave Winfield did it. But the Royals did win the game tonight, 6-5. to five. White Sox in Cleveland and watch the ball. This will make you think about life. Umpire Dale Scott zigged when he should have zagged. Top of the sixth inning, Kevin Seitzer with the base hit up the middle, Jose Vizcayeno and Kenny Lofton score. Cleveland wins the game 4-3, to three, reducing their magic number to two. They can clinch the Central with a win over the White Sox tomorrow night. AL scoreboard, Blue Jays fall prey to the Yankees. Seattle bombing Texas, and the Orioles and the Brewers were rained out. Dodgers and the Rockies at Coors Field. Dodgers trying to stay on top in the West, top of the third. Todd Hollinsworth. Singles to right and then gets a little help from Dante Bichette, who bobbles the ball, sending Ishmael Valdez to third. And then his throw to get Hollinsworth. The ball bounces away. Valdez scores on two errors by Bichette. Dodgers led it 1-0 and went on to beat the Rockies 6-4. They've won nine of their last 11. Two other games to tell you about in the National League. Padres and the Giants tied in the 10th. And Atlanta all over the Mets, 5-2. Monday night football, Steelers and the Bills, a rematch from last year's AFC playoffs, and the results largely the same. Greg Lloyd trying to get the crowd into it. Not a problem. They were loving it when Jerome Bettis, who's been reborn in the Steel City, broke this 43-yarder. Run, Forrest, run! Bettis with 133 yards and two touchdowns, and the Steeler defense 
converted three Jim Kelly interceptions into three scores. Steelers roll past the Bills 24 to 6. They're now 8 and 1 on Monday nights under Bill Cowher. You know, for the Cardinals, watching the film from yesterday's game has got to be a little like sitting down to watch film of your own vasectomy. It hurts just as much the second time around. I don't think anyone thinks this is the most talented team in the world, but what really seems to bother the fans I've talked to is that they don't seem to have the fire. Granted, nothing's going right right now, but somebody's got to put a little spunk back in this team. And from the sound of things, newly acquired Derek Moore may be just the guy to do it. We have a personnel, we have a coaching staff. I, I think it's a matter of all of our players joining hands, taking that field and being one heartbeat. And if we're one heartbeat, it's going to be hard to beat us. I love nothing more than to get in there Sunday and, and demonstrate uh, what kind of player I am and, and, you know, and leave an impression on this organization positively that won't be soon forgotten. Here's a wild story. Jackie joyner Kersey, the great Olympic track star, tomorrow is going to announce that she's embarking on a pro basketball career. Kersey, a three-time gold medalist in the heptathlon and long jump, will apparently sign a contract with the Richmond Rage of the American Basketball League. Before she became an Olympic star, Kersey was a four-year starter on the UCLA women's basketball team. And before we take off tonight, a quick congrats to the winners of this week's Pick the Pros contest. Joe Fanella picks up a pair of round-trip tickets on America West, and Don Vickers grabs four new Goodyear tires. Look for entry blanks in this Friday's Republic and Gazette. The Cardinals just need a new insignia. That bird is starting to look dorky. You know what? Maybe a color it change? or weak. Yeah. Maybe we're just something, something new. Jazz up the bird. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the band with a funny name but a huge following packed the house at the Desert Sky Pavilion tonight. We'll give you a chance to hear part of the performance from Hootie next. Okay. In 1993, you could drive a new Mercury Grand Marquis for under $20,000. Since then, we've made it more distinctive, more luxurious, more durable, even safer. But there's one thing we left well enough alone, the price. For a limited time, drive the legendary V8-powered Mercury Grand Marquis for a value-packed price under $20,000. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. This is a Kaufman and Broad home. It's not like any home you've ever seen before. Look at all the light and space in here. Kaufman and Broad has been building with new ideas for nearly 40 years. Take a look this weekend. Right now, it really pays to get into a new home because Kaufman and Broad will give you thousands of dollars of options for only $96 each. Save thousands of dollars, but only till October 1st. Once you find out the fat in some of your favorite foods, you go, whoa, red light. Well, I want a green light. That's why I love Healthy Choice. Every dish is a definite go. Take out pizza. Ah. Red light. Thick, cheesy Healthy Choice pizza. Green light. Carry out Chinese. No can do. Healthy Choice beef broccoli Beijing. Green light. Philly beefsteak. Thanks for playing. Healthy Choice pocket sandwiches. You get my drift. Healthy Choice, your green light to eat what you like. Hey. Hey, isn't that? Sure is. And that can't be. Yep. All right, well, what's going on here? Smart People Society. They meet here every Tuesday. Smart People Society. <laughs> what am I doing in the Smart People Society? Well, that's your Ultima, isn't it? The Nissan Ultima. Ranked the best midsize car under $20,000 in initial quality. Alrighty, folks, a little breezy tomorrow with a high of 89 degrees and a chance of showers up in the North Country. Kent Janine, tickets still available Tuesday, September 24th through James Taylor. Proceeds will go to Silent Witness, and we got highlights of Hootie coming up in just a few seconds. Okay, thanks. And The Tonight Show with Jay Leno is coming up next. Jay's guests tonight include actress Bette Midler, actor David Hyde Pierce, and musical guest Bring In The Noise, Bring In The Funk. And just before Jay tonight, Scene's been talking about them, and they were here tonight pooting the blowfish. The South Carolina Quartet is promoting their newest uh, chart-busting album, and their first album, Cracked Rearview Mirror, sold more than 13 million albums, and let's listen in.
guy yeah. moving around the audience was seen, wasn't it? Seen yeah. moving around. Well. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it for tonight. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Your overnight developments. Wake up to Ron and Catherine for 12 minutes today. Have a great night.